Oh, God, that is absolutely chucking it down. Just as I have to go out and deliver parcels <laughs> and get to your charity shops. Great. Uh, I'm looking to see it in a sec. And then I'll do Oxfam and then the scope and around the corner. Cause Morning everyone, it's Wednesday the 29th of December at 11am, thought I would come and share with you what I get up to today and a little bit what I get up to tomorrow the 30th, because I've got to go out to my local town to some charity shopping there. So I've got to go in the shed in a sec to get a couple of board games out. Hopefully you've had a great Christmas and you'll have a great New Year as well. Let me know in the comments below what you get up to for Christmas Day and for New Year as well. It was this board game, <laughs> nothing special really. It's not worth a mega amount. Um, I got seven pound in the end on three bids. So that was one of the auctions that sold. And then I've got this one here, which is a, you can see it through, the, through here. A rum, don't know if I can get it out. Out, out. Uh, yeah, as you can see that. And that one sold for around £11. Not bad, really, on offer. So I get those packed up, and there's a couple of packed up already. So I'll share with you what they are. This one is the Xbox 360 Black with 120 gigabyte hard drive with the Afterglow controller, which is the see through controller, two games and the wire, so £35 plus postage. I took an offer from 50 I was gonna keep it, didn't get around to it, and it sold. I was gonna keep it to test with, but, cause the other one's on its way out. Anyway, this one owes me about 3p. I got it from a bundle from a guy last year. I'll link the video in the card section and description. Uh, yeah, say it owes me about 3p, this one. This one is a Canon PowerShot 740 battery pack, car for tenner, so they got to go today and with the other ones. Here is the garden. It's very wet here. It's been raining about four or five days on and off really heavily. It's not much happening in the garden really. It doesn't happen much about February, March when all the plants start coming back out. Even though this one, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's come out in flower. weird that but apart from that nothing else is happening in the garden so what I'm gonna do is put these chairs away go inside and sort out my parcels I'd like to eat send me parcels go around charity shops and boom right here at the collect plus store just up this way around the corner past the dental clinic just up there so there's collect plus but it's yodel who shit it's still raining sun's coming out been to the parcel shop, sent me yodel, even though it says collect plus, but you have to send me yodel. Gotta go that way round, all the way back up to Chesington. That way to Ruxley Lane, and that way to your village and Epsom. So I go down that way, turn all the way around, go to the post office, get to the chat shop. Managed to get a parking space down the Prader shops, right by the Children's Trust and the QEF, gonna to go to the post office and check out all the other um, charity shops, including these ones. So hopefully I won't be long in the post office and then I'll go to these charity shops. I had a feeling something was gonna go on. The post office is closed due to sickness. Great. So that means I've gotta to go to another post office. I'll probably try um, near your village, like West Jewel, just some shops at the post office there. See if I can um, go there and send the parcels. If not, then I have to send them an Epsom when I go tomorrow, which is great. I've just noticed the Children's Trust has closed. Uh, I thought it was open. Oh, maybe it just closed it. Great. <laughs> oh dear. Good day, isn't it? Oh well, I'll try and go to the other charity shops and I've got to go to um, Sainsbury's as well, so I'll speak to you in a bit. Well, that was a waste of time, wasn't it? The charity shops were dire and one was closed, not officially, but due to two o'clock. 
should be open by now, but they can send in lunch because they've got no staff to run it and need lunch. Fair enough, but annoying. Um, post office closed, so I've got to go to another post office just down the way. So hopefully that's open and send the parcels there. Fingers crossed, touch wood, all that they get there um, to their destinations okay. I'm now in your village, gonna go to the post office, which is that way. Hopefully it's open. It's inside a shop, so the shop will be open, but the post office, who knows? If not, I'll have to send me parcels tomorrow down at the post office. I got the ones away, as you saw, to the um, Collect Plus store, which used Yodel to ship. That's fine. But the ones that needed to be done by 31st, <laughs> hopefully I can do either today or tomorrow, but we'll see. And I'll take you down a little bit in your village and I might pop to a charity shop if it's open. And yeah, I'll um, see what happens. Welcome to Yule. It's quite a small place, but it's a lot compact. We've got West Yule, where I've come from, all up there. West Yule, Yule, I'm here. So, yeah, hopefully I can get to the post office. If anything's local, it's one of the ways I go to the car boot, local one that way. Show no more. Oh, hopefully it stops or doesn't start raining, I should say. Because I don't think it's raining now. No, it's not, it's stopped. Good. E Homer. <laughs> Father Homer. Mm. The barber shop right here. Right, not too far now. Just up that way. So what I'll do, I'll speak to you when I come out of the post office. Fingers crossed I'll get sorted out. Brilliant, the post office there worked. I've not been there for a long time, but it's just like a little tiny um, counter off the main counter, which is good. Uh, your post office, brilliant. Major palace. <laughs> right. Um, oh, I might quickly head into the charity shop, just around the corner, and then head home now. I can't be bothered going anywhere else. Not in a Popping around. Not kind of in a mood for it to be honest. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. At least they're gone. That's a good thing about living in um, a large area with lots of different um, like towns and areas inside because you can go to different places for the um, post office and whatever else. So there's quite a few anyway, it's probably about seven or eight I can go to, but some I have physical arguments with, but that one's okay. Because I prepaid for packages anyway. So, right, gonna go around to the other charity shop and I'll switch a bit. And grab a cup of tea, relax and tell my um, dad about all the stuff that's been happening. <laughs> oh well. Speak to you when I get back in. Gonna end the vlog here. Gonna go downstairs, get a cup of tea and a bite to eat. Gonna continue the vlog tomorrow, do a little bit of footage around the charity shop, see what I can find. And if there is anything decent and a lot of it, I'll share you in a separate haul. If not, I'll share you on this video. I'm on level 1B in the Hook Road car park. run some errands first before I check the charity shops. Hopefully they'll be okay. <laughs> All right. I'm fingers crossed it doesn't rain. At the moment it's okay, it's not raining at all. We are good. Cool. Oh. So I'm going to head towards the town centre. I'm going to head towards the Ashley centre because I've got to get my money back with my receipts from Next for a pair of jeans I've been hitching that really are too big in the leg, width-wise. Um, so I'll do that. And then what I'll do is I'll jump around the charity shop. I'm here outside spread eagle walk shopping 
um, area is by Fever Boutique nightclub. <laughs> I'm gonna head that way to next to sort out my jeans that I need, get the money back from. I got the receipt, and then head that way afterwards. Go around the corner to the charity shops, get back to eat, etc. So yeah, Epsom Town Centre. Cancer research. I go in here and see what I've got. I will do the Oxfam and the other one right around the corner by the Faraday pub um, on the GoPro. But if you have those, I won't bother. I'll show you. Yeah, not expect to get a lot, but we'll see. Cancer research. Uh, I'll look at CX in a sec. And then I'll do Oxfam and then the scope and around the corner because. Um, that's right, the other one's pushy closed near KFC. Now I go and grab something we I think. Hmm. Not fucking McDonald's. No way. I know. Um, met a friend in there who works in there. <laughs> Obviously, there's nothing in there today, so yeah, it's good to catch up with my friend. And on to the next one. Uh, next one is Scope and British Heart Foundation. Nothing in Scope. On to the next one. British Heart Foundation. It used to be an okay charity shop. QEF. Uh, I'll lose it off, couldn't have years. Oh well, that's a few weeks going on. I'm just gonna let it, or the boy's gonna be in there, he's gonna be okay. Oh well, can't be helped. Close, so we've got around, around the corner. The next
just gone quarter to 12. Gonna head off to another charity shop, Bernardo's, I'm not far away, after I found something to eat. So I'm gonna have a look around, something to eat, loads of eatery places, Nepsum, so I'll speak to. Next charity shop is Bernardo's. Um, looks like quite busy in there, quite busy here as well. I'm gonna go to Coughlin's Bakery in a bit, but something to eat, because they fancy the McDonald's and Epsom and everyone else is closed, pretty much. <laughs> so yeah, head there, head there, head home. Now 20 to two, and just got back from Epsom. The charity shop's rubbish, even though one of them had closed up, which is a shame, but that's the way it is. Whoa very cold now and it's been raining on and off quite a lot so I've got some bits and pieces to do and then a little bit later I'm gonna sort out those match attacks so if I don't speak to you before have a good New Year's Eve and 2022 I like share and subscribe for Peter Ray's adventures and take care see ya